see if your skin has any of these skin condition and if your skin is showing at least three of these signs then you definitely have damaged skin in today's video i will be sharing a skincare routine for damaged skin and this video is the episode 2 of the series uh, textured skin or bumpy skin in the previous video i shared a skincare routine that develops a texture due to irritation so if you feel that you are going through some irritation as well as you have some bumpiness on your skin then that video is for you and if your skin symptoms or look like uh, something that i've mentioned right in the beginning of the video then this video is for you also like uh, apart from the products that i will be using in today's video i will mention some alternatives uh, so that you have many options to choose from so when you are uh, going for a routine for damaged skin um, you want to avoid the makeup wipes cleansing water because uh, most of the time these products are to be used on a cottony kind of thing and when you rub those cotton tissue or cotton wipes on your face the friction caused by them does irritate your skin even more and you do end up with further damaged skin so you want to avoid all those kind of products instead use the oil based product some people use oil cleanser some people use balm cleanser i'm the balm cleanser kind of person because oil cleansers sometimes work for my skin sometimes they don't work for my skin sometimes they give me breakout sometimes they don't so just to stay on safer side i prefer the balm cleanser and just like always the balm cleanser that i'm gonna use for this damaged skin routine is the vanilla co clean it zero this is my favorite favorite balm cleanser because it does not break me out it does not clog my pores on the skin and also it is lightweight doesn't leave any residue on the skin uh, the only thing I want to mention about this product is um, it does contain some artificial fragrance in it it's a very minor one like a very minor fruity kind of fragrance so just in case if you are bothered by fragrance in a product or your skin is sensitive towards the fragrance in a product you want to go for 100% fragrance free product then definitely check out the Clinique one the Clinique one is 100% essential oil free and 100% fragrance free when you are using the balm cleanser it uh, prevents the irritation that is caused by the friction and once you have like massaged this uh, balm cleanser for 10-20 seconds uh, do add a little water to emulsify it this is very important so that the balm cleanser doesn't leave any residue on your skin so the cleanser that i want to recommend for the damaged skin it is the rovectin skin essential conditioning cleanser a fabulous cleanser for damaged skin in general it is fragrance free essential oil free and has that skin hydrating property and at the same time it ensure that it doesn't damage your skin barrier so after the cleansing the next step which usually comes is the exfoliation but when your skin is completely damaged exfoliation is something that you absolutely want to avoid like do not use all those AHA, BHA toners or solutions also avoid using retinols, vitamin C, azelaic acid, even niacinamide like niacinamide as an ingredient is really good for acne prone skin it is really really beneficial for the oily skin in general but when your skin is damaged even that ingredient is something that you want to avoid or limit the usage like if your product or like a toner or serum or moisturizer if it contains a niacinamide anywhere from uh, one to three percentage or something that's okay to use all I'm saying is do not use a concentrated serum of niacinamide which contains uh, more than five percentage of niacinamide because niacinamide i don't know why people don't talk about this niacinamide does have that sebum controlling property and when your skin is damaged your skin is already lacking sebum in, in its in it and when you use the ingredient like niacinamide it further dries out your skin instead of repairing you also want to avoid fragrance and essential oil in leave-in kind of products so all i'm trying to say is when your skin is damaged avoid all kind of active based serums go for the product that are hydrating moisturizing nourishing and calming in nature and this is exactly what i'm going to do in today's routine so right after the cleansing i'm gonna go with the toners and i have two amazing options with me one is the iron from rice toner and the second one is the Rovectin Skin Activating Treatment Lotion. 
so say you have damaged skin but uh, you are not experiencing lot of inner dryness not experiencing lot of dehydration then the iron from rice toner is going to be fabulous option because it not only it is moderately hydrating but at the same time it also moisturizes your skin slightly and ensures that your skin gets repaired over the time because this toner mainly contains rice extract and rice extract is a really good ingredient for the damaged skin now uh, if you are experiencing very severe inner dryness that is you are experiencing dehydration as well as damaged skin like both at the same time then this is the right product for you because it contains six or seven different types of hyaluronic acid in it and hyaluronic acid uh, ensures that your skin stays hydrated from the inside and some people are like worried or they ask me that this product contains papaya enzyme in it and papaya enzyme does have that uh, mild skin exfoliation property but when it comes to this particular product you shouldn't be worried about that because it is used in a very 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 small quantity the papaya enzyme used in it ensures that this product gets absorbed into your skin and uh, whatever you use after this also works better and both of these toners are in general more suitable for the normal to dry skin like in general but when your skin is like damaged i feel all skin types can use it during that phase after the toner i will be using my class eye cream and uh, the more I use this product, I'm liking it. So the next product that I'm going to use is completely optional. Like if you use this product, it's going to be a fabulous thing for your skin. But if you are on budget or if you don't have time and you don't feel like using too many products in your skincare routine, then you can also skip it. And the product that I will be using is the Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drop now don't let this name fool you this is not a face oil in fact it doesn't even contain any carrier oil in it it is 100% oil free 100% essential oil free it is 100% fragrance free and it is formulated in such a way that uh, it mimics the consistency of the face oil but at the same time still remains very lightweight on skin so it has that viscous but still lightweight kind of texture and when applied on skin it does take few little extra second to completely sink in but it never ever feels heavy or sticky on skin so this is why i feel that when anyone is uh, anyone out there is going through the damaged skin phase doesn't matter what's your skin type you can definitely check this one out but in general i feel that if you have like normal dry skin you all can use throughout the year and oily skin combination skin can safely use it during the winter time like this is the scenario which i'm talking about when your skin is pretty normal it doesn't have this damaged skin issue but yeah during the damaged skin phase everyone can use it and you don't have to use a lot you can adjust the quantity as per your requirement you may use some two three drops of it or even half of the pipette Here are few more good options for damaged skin. If you prefer something lightweight and for calming the skin, check out the Purito Unscented Serum. And if you need something to add glow on your skin apart from repairing your skin barrier, check out the I'm From Rice Serum. And if you need something to nourish your skin, check out the Cosrex Propolis Ampule. So I feel that when your skin is damaged, uh, the three types of product make a huge difference. So you have to make a right choice with them. Number one is a cleanser. You have to pick a right cleanser as per the damaged skin situation. And the second one is the toner. Toner plays a major role in repairing your skin. So you have to pick it properly. And the third product is the moisturizer. So when you're picking a right moisturizer for the damaged skin, you want to go for the moisturizer which is rich in ceramide, which contains fatty acid and also it contains cholesterol. So these three ingredients are must in that product and today I will be using the Formula RX Barrier Relief Cream. Now this is the product which I'm absolutely loving for this summer and monsoon time because in general uh, most of the time barrier creams are thick nourishing and sticky in nature which can feel a little bit too much for the oily skin or during this monsoon time in general so if you have like damaged skin issue and you need 
something lightweight during this monsoon summer time then the formula rx barrier relief cream is suitable for all skin type out there here's the thing um if you have damaged skin but at the same time you have exceptionally dry skin like very 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 dry skin then the uh, bioderma intensive auto balm is going to be a better option for you than this and uh, my most favorite uh, barrier repairing product is the Ilion Atu Cream. Like, is the best uh, barrier product out there. It is rich, nourishing, but at the same time doesn't feel very sticky on skin. But it always helps in repairing your skin in the shortest amount of time. So if you can get your hands on the Ilion Atu Cream, it's going to be a best thing. Uh, but otherwise this uh, formula rx uh, barrier relief cream is going to be good option if you prefer something lightweight so a little clarification on claire's blue cream this is an amazing skin calming moisturizer but is not much effective in repairing the damaged skin barrier so this was the nighttime skincare routine for the damaged skin and if you want to use this product in the morning time you can absolutely do that like your morning routine is going to look something like this uh, in the morning, it's better that you skip the cleansing when you have damaged skin. Uh, wash your face with the plain water alone and then follow up with the toner. Uh, you can use the Iron From Rice toner and if you want to use this uh, Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drop, you can also use that. Uh, but do ensure that you're using this uh, barrier cream in the morning time. And in general, like I suggest, when you have damaged skin, it's better that you skip the sunscreen indoor use the sunscreen only when you are going out and uh, this is not the usual case i'm just suggesting this when you have damaged skin because sometime um, sunscreen can be a little irritating on damaged skin doesn't matter whether you're using chemical or mineral sunscreen both are equally irritating on damaged skin so when you go out only that time use the sunscreen indoor it's better you avoid it this way your skin will heal faster and the sunscreen which i want to recommend for the damaged skin it is the avene uh, day protector uvx this has spf 30 and pa triple plus and uh, spf 30 i personally feel is sufficient for the regular usage unless you are not going out in the sun for sport activities swimming or for long hour duration the spf 30 is sufficient on a regular basis so if you have acne on your damaged skin instead of trying all those harsh treatment check out this cosrex ultimate spot cream this is a very gentle acne calming product it is still new to me i got it very recently i will keep you all updated in my future videos but i just wanted to mention this over here because looks like a good product to me and uh, what else i think i have shared everything so if you like this video definitely give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel to stay updated with all my latest video and i will see you in my next upload bye